In today's video, we're opening blister packs to find the rarest Starlight rares in existence. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video and as I told you guys in the intro, we have multiple awesome blisters that we're gonna be opening up today, searching for some of the best Starlight Rares ever printed. But before that, let's get to the giveaway. I'll be giving away these two Egyptian God card decks, both Obelisk and Slifer. Simply like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know down below your favorite Starlight Rare ever printed. And let's get into it. So before we get started, let's go through all the packs we have. First of all, we have a Blazing Vortex. You're like, wait, this is how we're starting? This set sucks. It does suck, but it has one of the best Starlight Rares. It has a Pot of Prosperity Starlight Rare. That's the only good card in the set, so that's what we're hopefully going to pull out of this one pack. Then we have a Lightning Overdrive, which is also not a great set, but does contain potentially the Starlight Black Rose Dragon, so we're hopefully going to pull that. Then we have four packs of Dawn of Majesty, another set that's not that great, but it does have the potential Starlight Stardust, basically the only good card in the set, in terms of value, because the, uh, the branded stuff's not bad. Then we have eight packs of Rise of the Duelist. Basically, all the Starlights in here are good. There's like DD Crow, there's the Charmers, there's an, even the Gaia I like, so I think that there's great potential if we pull a Starlet at all out of that set. Then we have 12 packs of Battles of Chaos. These are not blisters. These came from a booster box. We have 12 packs of that. The Starlets in here are a little iffy, like for value, but they're very collectible and they're very new. So I think they'll age well, like the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon and stuff like that. Then we have two Eternity Code. This has some crazy Starlights, like the Effect Veiler and then the Water Charmer. Big time money right there. And then finally, two Rising Rampage, the first ever Starlight set. If we could get the Opelosa, it'd be insane. All right, let's get started. Let me know in the comments, do you think we will pull a Starlight today? We have 30 total packs. So the ratios are not on our side, but every once in a while, you'll get some magic. So hopefully that is today. Uh, we could also pull the Dark Magician out of these Battles of Chaos. So that's exciting as well. Not really the point of the video, but it'd be great. We have the Tor Ride, the Dynamorphia Shell, Monster Rebirth. Fire Opal Head, we got the Ghost Trick Siren, Ghost Trick Treat, we got the Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior, and we have an Ultra Rare Divisor King Deus Machinex. Very cool Ultra Rare, awesome looking artwork as well. I really like that. Honestly, I just wanted to do this video because I am a huge fan of Starlight Rares. I'm not gonna lie, maybe my favorite rarity, Ghost Rares. If it's the older Ghost Rare, I like it better than a Starlight. If it's the newer Ghost Rares, I probably like the Starlights better. So this is one of my favorite rarities. Very hard to pull, very collectible. And I haven't pulled a lot of these Starlight Rares that we're looking for today. I've pulled like maybe a couple of them, like theoretically, but I haven't pulled most of them. Okay, we have Blazing Vortex. This set is basically only the Pot of Prosperity. So there's a, a Secret Rare and an, a uh, Starlight Rare as well. Not Ultimate. We have the uh, Kajaki. We've got the Specimen, the Dragon Blitz, the Gyclops, Reinforced with the Army's Troops, Armor Dragon Ritual, Ancient Warrior Saga, Chivalrous Path, and a Metaphors of Vanisher. So we're starting it off with a Super on that one. Just Blazing Vortex. Not a lot to see here. Because I have the most Battles of Chaos, we're going to do like more of those than everything else because we do have 12 so let's see if we can pull the dark magician or of course the starlight dark magicians the blue eyes jet dragon i mean they're all pretty good dynamorphia alert the flower dino ogdoic serpent strike got skilled brown magician doll monster bear bear rock scales ghost trick shot alice lady of lament that is a super rare okay back to our blister packs we have lightning overdrive i've still never pulled the black rose dragon so pulling this would be pretty amazing i haven't pulled black rose dragon in ghost or starlight so we're looking to do that at some point that would be pretty awesome lightning overdrive first edition i opened i think three or four cases of this set and never got it so i, I did open a decent amount but uh as you guys know it's one in ten for to get actual starlight star mine to get the uh the one you want at least clock arc Sun Avalon Daphne, Dan Mari, we've got the S-Force Dog Tag, the Starry Knight CL, and a Supreme Sovereign Serpent of Golgonda. Okay, let's try a Dawn of Majesty here. Let's see if we can get that Starlight Stardust. You guys know we've opened a lot of this set. We even had like a Redemption Arc where we opened even more of this set to try and get it again and didn't get it. So I've gotten it once in, you know, 13 cases, whatever, plus a little bit. One, two, it might've been 12 cases, three, four, I can't remember, it was a lot. We have Majestic Absorption, cool. Beat Trooper Fly Sting, Doombearer Psychopompus, Return the Heavenly General, Spring It's Interluder, Slower Swallow, DDD Different Dimension Derby, Tailwind of Gusto, and the Stall Turn. Pretty cool. We've got some, uh, what was the Tom Cruise movie? The, the one where they fly the planes around recently? You know, whatever it was called. Back to Battles of Chaos. So far, we've got an Ultra Rare out of here. It's our only pull, really. So far, we've just had supers other than that. One, two, three, four. If we do the pack trick, it's going to be interesting to see where the Dark Magician ends up. Doll Monster, Mist Madchen, the Maple Maiden, Smoke Mosquito, DDD Headhunt, Datamorphia Brute, the Sylvine Sinry, Fire Rebel Head, the Ghost Trick Siren, and White Relic of Dogmatica. Super rare. Nothing too crazy. Dawn of Majesty, first dead. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, is this is this good? Okay, it's only kind of open. If that's the only place, then we're probably fine. Let's try this side. Yeah, it seems like it's probably fine. You always got to be careful with these blisters. They can sometimes be messed with. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully this was uh, someone started opening it and they missed out on a Stardust Dragon. Hopefully that's the case. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have Beast King Unleashed. Gusto Vidir. Amaze Attraction Viking Vortex. Baby Mud Dragon. Aerial Pix 3. The Despia Tragedy. Magic Key Unlocking. Glacier Aquamador. The Retrain. And... Ooh, Magic Key Mech Mortar Gares Glaster. That is a super rare nothing too crazy there let's go back to dawn of majesty again got a few of these so let's try and uh try and pull a stardust you know no big deal it's only about what is it one in uh 2880 something like that to pull one not even that crazy guys it's not even that rare right we got master diploma man margin trading the gunkage sous ship the sam bell chronomaly we've got the assortment the stealth buster red carp and a magic key mafia yeah, this was a good card when it first came out but Everything in Dawn of Majesty is gone now because of all the reprints, but still a pretty solid card. Okay, no big deal. Battles of Chaos. We have two Ultra Rares. So we're looking for our first Secret Rare and our first Starlight Rare. I'm not going to say anything too crazy here. Let's see if we can do it here. We got Maple Maiden. Some more Bird of Perfection. The Serpent Strike. A uh, Ruxin Special. Right past a Link Monster. Ghost Trick Festival. Vernal Dragon. The Soul Sweeper. Tribal Drive. The Epsilon Magnet Warrior. And a Nordic Smith. Evaldi, he's evolving. Not sure what that meant, but let's keep going. The uh, Dawn of Majesty final pack. This is our last chance of the Starlight Stardust here, or at least last chance for the day. I'm sure we'll open more packs of this at some point. Will I ever pull it again? Who knows? Probably not, honestly. But the odds are against us. You just got to believe in the heart of the cards. The odds were always against Yugi, and then he found a way to draw the right card, aka cheat. Okay, Sambo, we got the uh, Magic Key Duo. The Zerol, the Synthesis, Slower Swallow, Pazuzul, Despian Tragedy, and a B-Trooper Scale Bomber. Another super rare. We have two Ultras so far and a lot of packs. Now it's time to revisit the Rise of the Duelist. See, these were the ones where I had an issue with at one point. I don't know if you guys have even seen that video yet. I don't know. I'm not sure when it came out, but I checked all these. They seem to be legit, but hopefully they are. Rise of the Duelist, these are $20 packs now, so they're pretty expensive. A lot of great Starlight Rare potential in here. And then, of course, Secret Rares are awesome as well. Even with the reprints, they're pretty good. Fright for Jar, Dark Lord. We got the Diameter, Dogmatic Encounter, Capricious Dark Lord, Melfi Playhouse, Linker Bell, and a Gaia the Magical Knight of Dragons. Check that out. Cool artwork. Let's just pull the Starlight version. I'm down. Back to our favorite set, Battles of Chaos. I know a lot of you guys really like this set. I am a fan. One, two, three, four. I'm going to be an even bigger fan when we pull a Dark Magician right here. Top Chair, the Agent of Destruction, Monster Rebirth, whoop, Ice Shade Erosion, Silver Vine, Sinry, Sword Soul Strife, Dynamorphia Sonic, Eurodora Fate, and Dark the Dark Charmer Gloomy. There it is. I don't know if you guys saw on my social media, which if you don't follow me, follow me at Ruxa34 on Instagram, on Twitter, all that stuff, but... I lost a Dark the Dark Charmer Starlight Rare, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I somehow lost it, yeah, and then I found it the other day, so I was like, yay, I found my Dark the Dark Charmer. Okay, Rise of Duel's first dead, so that's what that reminds me of, that I lost one of those. One, two, three, four, here we go, you gotta believe, guys. We've got Ancient Warrior Saga, Spiral Discharge, the Math Mech Diameter, Spiral Fusion, Spiral Reborn, Melfi Finney, the Fright for Repair, Unauthorized Boot Up Device, and Ancient Warrior's Oath Double Dragon Lords. Back to the battles of the chaos. It's chaos time, guys. Here we go. Speaking of chaos, I like how they've reprinted, or they're not reprinted, but they've made a bunch of new chaos monsters for the new set. I'm actually pretty excited of that from Photon Hypernova. And by the way, if you haven't bought any yet and you want to pre order from Sassy Out, use my code. Hypernova Ruxin, I believe, down below. You get 5% off on your pre-order and also supports the channel. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Oh, wait. Oh, next one. Oh, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. Nice. We got an Ultra, our third Ultra of the opening. Very cool card. Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. I'm down. Back to Rise of the Duelist. Tons of packs from Rise. Will we get a Starlight that we are searching for? Lots of packs are being opened here. We're hoping that we can get one of the elusive, the rare Starlight Rares. Drill Driver, the Card Garden Nut, Reese Savager. We've got a Junk Sleeper, Galloping Gaia, Capricious Dark Lord, Abyss Actor. We have a Melfi Playhouse and the Red Time Reviver Emitter. Can we get a, like, not even a Starlight, a Secret Rare? That'd be nice. I'm going to open another Battles of Chaos. Can we just get a Secret Rare? One, two, three, four. Here we go. We're a Dark Magician. I'm down for that. The Groza, Tyrant of Thunder, Smile Potion, Smile. We got Mighty Mutant. We got the Lampswell. 
Palace, we got the Shot, Iridor of Fate, the Drarton, and the Libromancer Invention. Okay, this isn't going as planned. So far, three, three Ultra Rares, no Starlights. So, looking a little iffy, but there's still plenty of time. There's a lot of packs left. If we say, if we pull no secrets at all and pull a Opelosa Starlight, definitely worth it. So, let's do that. For Savager, we got a Junk Sleeper, Nurgle, Fury Karshin, Boot Up Device, the Abyss Actor. Oh, ho! I got excited for 0.2 seconds. This is the worst secret rare in a set with all good secret rares. This is the only bad secret rare in the entire set. No, we are not friends. That's a disappointment. I'm pretty sure every secret rare in Rise of the Duelist is at least somewhat of a banger, except that card. And that's the one we pull. One, two, three, four. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. We got the uh, Shining uh, Filla, Top Share, Serpent Strike, Ice Shade Erosion. We got the Darton. Leaf Jade Palace, we've got the Sonic, Servine Sinry, and a super rare Dark Contract with patent license. With the patent license, interesting. That Rise of the Duels pack was painful because I was like, ooh, a secret, oh. And then I realized, I remembered, it all came flooding back from when I opened this. That card wasn't even like a dollar when it came out. That's how bad it was. Wow, that is pretty rough. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Super Every Samurai, Melfi Rabbit, Ostolfo, Red Potent, that is very, very creepy. It looks like a hot tamale. Kind of weird. We got the Linker Bell, Infra Noble Knight and Magus. We got the Finny with the Fluffle Dolphin and a Shadal Schism. Okay. Shadal Schism came out in Rise of the Duelist. I didn't realize that. It's a pretty good Ultra Rare. Okay, we'll take that. I didn't know uh, when the shenanigans started with that, or at least that type of when the shenanigans started that you know late. I thought that was a longer thing. One, two, three, four. I guess it was a couple years ago at this point. Ghost Rick Festival, come on. Mightant Mutant, Smile Potion, we got a smile. We got the Cast of Caster, Trait, Magnet Warrior, Mechanical Monstrosity, the Place. Oh, and a Secret Rare! Illusion of Chaos, there it is. That's what we're looking for. Okay, this would be a beautiful Starlight. I have this in PSA 10 in Starlight, by the way. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn or anything, but yeah, this is a really sweet secret rare. I love the artwork on this card. Really awesome. That's a great pull. I think it's around like 20 something bucks, so definitely a solid card. All right, we're still going with Rise of the Duelist. We have multiple of these packs, which I mean, it feels like we have a lot of these, so it's like they're not special, but these are some of the most special packs we're opening today, which is funny. I'm excited to potentially pull a good secret rare, not an out emancipator friends. Anybody? Anybody interested? Dogmatic of Punishment? Crazy, that was a common here. Spiral Fusion, Melfi Pony, Spiral Discharge, Melfi Mommy, Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon, Dogmatica Encounter, Fry for Cruel Whale, and a DD Dog. The DD Dog. Still three more packs in our Battles of Chaos. Uh, and then we got two more Rise of the Duelist, two more Eternity Code, and two of the, you know, whatever the Oplosis set's called, the Rising Rampage, Ghost Trick Festival, Mighty Tint Mutant, Smile Potion, Great Double Casted Caster, Skilled Brown Magician, the Rock Scales. Doll of Happiness, the Sylvine Sinry, and the Ultimate Fusion for the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Hey, that's not bad. It's a Blue Eyes card. All right, second to last, Rise of the Duelist. So far, okay, we've done a little better because we pulled a couple of secrets, one being really garbage. Uh, decent Ultras, though, actually. We've had some pretty good Ultras. Rise of the Duelist. Can we pull a big Starlight Rare? Let's go. One, two, three, four. In the Starlight episode that we're doing here, we have Melfi Hide and Seek, Horn of Oliphant, Drill Driver, we got a Ruxin special there. Card Gardener, Capricious Dark Lord, Linker Bell, Infernoble Knight Magus, Melfi Finny, and a Revenge Rally. That's a super rare. Okay, two Battles of Chaos left. So far, we got an Illusion of Chaos Secret. Can we get an Illusion of Chaos Starlight? That would be pretty cool. Even though we already have a PSA 10, I would be very happy with another one. Tour Ride, we got the uh, Phila, oh, Ruxin special, DDD Headhunt, Dogmatic Acabre, we got the Sonic, Sinry, Dollmaster Bear Bear, we got the Sword Soul Strife, and we have S-Force Retroactive. I would retroactively like to pull a Starlight from all the packs that we've already opened. Okay, final Rise pack. Here we go. Rise of the Duelist. First Ed. Starlight Rare inside, guaranteed. That's what I heard. I don't know. I just heard a voice saying it. Yeah, yeah. Starlight Rare is inside. Don't you worry, Ruxin. There's also, there's also like another Starlight Rare too. Okay, Heavenly Circle. Here we go. Horn of Volley font, Melfi Pony, let's go. Capricious Dark Lord, can we pull something big? Melfi Playhouse, Linker Bell, Unauthorized Boot Up Device, and a Speedroid Black and Roll. That is not a Starlight Rare, let me tell you. All right, let's do the final Battles of Chaos pack, then we'll go into our Eternity Code and our Rising Rampage, which are pretty big packs. One, two, three, four. Can we get the Dark Magician here? We have Submarine Tour Ride. 
We have Shining Pyrsifala. We have the Headhunt, Dogmatic Acabre, the Strife, Doranomorphia Sonic, Uridora of Fate, Clear New World, and Ultra Rare Soul and Luna. It's not a great card, but it's an Ultra Rare, so we've pulled a lot of Ultras today. We can't complain about that. On to our final four packs. It's just like college basketball. We're in the final four. Can we pull an Effect Veiler? Starlight Rare. The Charmer, I think, is more. I think it's the Water Charmer, whatever it's called. It is like a thousand bucks. So, uh, yeah, it is pretty big if we could pull that. There's also, of course, the access code original print. We have Red Familiar. Here we go. Ancient Warriors. Torpedo Takedown. The Cataclysmic. Circumpolar. Chimbaleon. Okay, we've got the uh, Pyrath, the Ghost Pirate. Necrip Prism. The Codebreaker Zero Day. Evil Eye Reemergence. And a AI Contact. AI. Uh, very relevant these days. Okay. Cool. Our second Eternity Code and final pack. Here we go. Well, second and final Eternity Code pack is the way I should have said that. Let's just keep going. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Parallel Exceed. That was a crazy card when it came out. The Virus Swordsman, Rainbow Zoo. Okay, we have Super Heavy Samurai, Swordmaster, Masashi, Saramara. Well, that's not how you say that. Hierarchia, the Artisia, the AIQ, and hard generator boss of storms that is a super rare not a starlight rare but that's okay remember what i said pull a starlight rare out of these no big deal opelosa at least 1500 bucks it's something ridiculous okay first edition the first ever starlight set by the way this is the first time they ever included starlights in Yu-Gi-Oh, or at least tcg Yu -Gi -Oh. they probably had them before that in ocg okay here we go big packs here potentially i mean i don't even need opelosa any starlight out of the set would be cool because i've never pulled any of them we have Oh, they included rares back then. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the rare. No big deal. Oh, oh we got the rare. We got the uh, Elbor's the Sacred Land of the Samorg. Fury of Fire. Samorg Repulsion. The number 29. The Barricade Blocker. Grid Rod. Got the Rescue Interlacer. And we have a super rare Ikelos. The Dream Mirror Mara. And we are on to our final Starlight Rare pack. This video is talking about Starlight Rares, and this is a perfect example of how they work. You don't usually pull them. Hopefully we break that right now. And we pull Starlight Opelosa. It's a pretty hard set to find at this point. Um, let's see if we can pull the first ever Starlight Rare. One, two, three, four. So this is the rare, actually. Last time, we're just gonna do that. Okay. We have some Org Bird of Calamity. The Magistic Magicianician. We have the Dino Wrestler Rambraccio. Defender of the Labyrinth. I remember this creepy shield. Marincess Sea Star. There's a seahorse that is a Starlight Rare in the set, which is pretty interesting. Some more Sky Battle. Got some more Bird of Protection. Flawless Perfection of the Tinyi. And we have a Mayu Senju Hitat. So unfortunately, no Starlight Rare in any of our packs today, but it was fun opening for some of the rarest Starlight Rares ever. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.